Okay, we're going to still work with our Tesla coil today, but this time I'm going to add some vibration into it and see what happens to the frequency of the Tesla coil once I add it in. No, by no means is this an experiment that uh, will define a whole lot, but it's going to tell us what happens when your gravity fire has it, some kind of vibration or resonance in the center plate, and then it's put into our Tesla coil. So, let me show you the parts that I put into this. This is a transducer from an ultrasonic cleaner. Basically, it makes this piece of aluminum here vibrate. And then we have our Tesla coil. I did put a tube down the center, and yes, it does help. And yes, you do have to cover over the top of the wire that you put in there with some, like, uh, shrink tube or something. Anything to, to stop it from breaking out. Other than that, any kind of anything starts on fire. Uh, anyway, so let's fire it up and see where we get to. that going now it's buzzing I can feel the vibration in it we now have our wire connected to the screen here we're going to put on our Tesla coil turn on our Tesla coil okay we're just going to bring it up to 40 like we normally do Okay, right there, we'll check it, make sure we're not getting hot. Okay, right there, I think that's good. Now we're going to set this up right here so we can get the best sound possible. Okay, hold on. Let me just bring this a little closer now. This is probably not a shock to anybody of what's going on here. We're just getting a frequency feedback from the vibration. I wanted to map out all the frequencies on my phone like I normally do. As you can see, this is the background noise here, and there it goes right there. That was the vibration turning on from the ultrasonic cleaner or the transducer, and all you're seeing is the high spikes. It'll go up in volume and down in volume, but it pretty much stays the same as this, so I had to try a different method. So I decided to try out my oscilloscope. Now... Please understand, I'm a beginner at this. This is probably the first test that I run on this thing. I started it up once before and got a horrible reading, didn't know what I was doing. I don't know if I'm much better now. Anyway, this is what I got initially. Then I cleaned it up a little bit and got this. And this is kind of the run that I ran with it, with all the measurements on it. And you can see the frequency go up and down.
every time I take the wire for my Tesla coil and I bring over the wire that's connected to the vibrating plate, it starts the temperature to rise. So here we go. You see a set temperature there. I'm trying to hold both, so please forgive me if it goes off course a little bit. But you'll start to see that I get into the 80s. I was usually somewhere in the 70s before. So it has more heat going into it. The reason this worries me is just simply there's a breakdown point of this transistor and I'm going to start hitting it every time that that thing goes like that. Now I have to remember that so I can bring the power down in order to keep within operating temp on this transistor. As you can see here I taped the end of my wire. I'm going to bring it over to my Tesla coil. It is on but I'm getting no break out there and no transfer over. Let's put it down in here in the tube. Now, everything works fine until you get to the end there. It starts conducting on the PVC anytime uh, that there's any, how do I want to say this, there's any leakage in the wire. I'm getting leakage in that wire. That was the reason I used that wire because it sucks with any kind of vibration or high voltage or anything. It just burns through. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look down the tube now. And let's see if we can just take this thing out of here. Let's see what it looks like. Now, nothing. Doesn't spark over, doesn't do anything. Now, just so you guys understand, this goes against what Alexi was doing in here, I think. I don't know if it's going to change the frequency at all. It hasn't at this point changed the frequency when I put the tape on there. So I don't know if it's a bad thing or a good thing right now, but I think there may be necessary to change the frequency in the Tesla coil. So I may have to let it spark over, which means a metal rod down the center where I can center it might be my best solution. And then just take my Tesla coil and run it at a, better uh, better voltage so I can bring the temperature down. Anyway, with it in there and it's all taped up, you can see we're in the 70s and we're not getting any uh, extra heat in our transistor here. So this part worked out. If you like what you saw here today, please like, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and have yourself a great day. Thank you.